Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltop and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and today I'm going to show you I just got from Stampin' Up! Happiness is Project Life Card Collection. And so I'm going to open it up with you and share with you how, how and why I'm so excited about this project. Um, first of all, Project Life is something that Becky Higgins, Higgins came up with and Stampin' Up! recently partnered with her. It's a, it's a way to do your scrapbooking. And here's the little kit. Look at this cute box. It's a way to do your scrapbooking that's fast and easy, and yet it still allows for creative expression if you so desire. However, if you're um, more interested in just getting your your cards into or your pictures into albums, it does fulfill that purpose rather quickly, but yet still sweetly with some with some cute little cards that you can put with the albums. And so these are the cards. And let's go ahead and open it up. I love how compact this is. And these are the cards. We have four by six cards. And we have some, looks like two and a half by three and a half cards. Nope, three inches by four inches. These are the three by four inch cards. And then we have some four by four inch cards. And I'm going to show you what I do. I always take this little insert out. And then if I'm on the go, I, it does have room for my 4x6 pictures if I choose to put them in there. And I don't um, throw away my little gels either. I take the silicon gel, the silica gel, and I open it up and I actually keep these because I use these in my shaker cards. So I'm actually going to share a project with you next week that uses these little... Um, silica gel pieces in a shaker card. So we'll set this aside. I don't want to spill those all over. But let's look at the rest of this kit here. So we have our our 4x4 four four cards. I'm going to open those up. And this is something exclusive to Stampin' Up! are the 4x4s. Four really like that. Some of my happy thoughts. Looks like lots of journaling cards here. So you could insert these in with your pictures, or you can even use them to layer pictures too. And they have different things on the back side. So you have um, double your selection of items that you can go to when you're scrapping. Alright, so we're just going to set those in here like this. And now these are the 3x4 cards. There's quite a few of them. That's a popular size in Project Life. And I often cut my photos down to that size, too, when I'm cropping. All right, so this is really cute. And I think one of the things that I like about, about these Project Life cards is you can go vertical or horizontal. So here's the horizontal version, and here's the vertical version. So you can use either one, depending on how your pictures are oriented. And then on the other side... Again, you have you have some different options that you can use. And so I like that there's something different printed on each side of the card. So we can take a look at some of these, some really awesome colors. Looks like Crushed Curry, Rich Razzleberry, um, maybe our Lost Lagoon. Some really pretty colors here. Some crumb cake. This looks like it would coordinate with the Moonlight Paper Pack, I see. I see these cards and they have a lot of those same colors. Oh, look at these cute eyeglass cards. Love that. So, oh my goodness, these are just adorable. I love them. Oh, look at how cute that is. You plus me, XOXO. So cute. And then again, you plus me, XOXO, except in the vertical orientation. Love that. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. And you know what else? These could even, if you end up not using them in your scrapbook, they could be a really cute panel on your card. I can show you exactly. I have a, I have a little panel right here, a card panel. So this is a standard card. And you could take one of these like this and just layer it right on top of your card. So cute. Or like this, for example, if you chose not to use it in your scrapbook, you could easily 
put it in our put it on a card. Probably not something that's a story of my life. But here's a blank one, so you could stamp whatever you wanted on there. So sweet. So anyway, this is you can see there's just tons of tons and tons of ideas here. And I like the fact that those these ruled lines make it so easy to journal. I always had trouble when I was doing my scrapbooks in the past and I had to write out things and I didn't have a ruled area to write them in. So again, we're just going to put them right here in our little box. And then we'll look at the 4 by 6 cards. So much fun to go through these. I love this. Great, great, great for layering your pictures on or to make um, title, title pockets. Very cute. Fun, wonderful, excited, happy, smile. That sounds like convention. I'm excited about convention this year. Wow, look at those colors. I am taking this with me this weekend, and hopefully um, we're expecting a rainy day this weekend, and so hopefully I'll get some Project Life scrapbooking done. So there we go. Now you can get an idea of how that works. And then... Um, Let's see. So how do I want to do this? I also like to peel these stickers off. This is Happiness Is and label my Project Life boxes with them. So I just, do you see how this sticker is? It says Happiness Is, Happiness Is, and then a little mark down the center. I just line that center mark up with my box and then press it down. And then no matter how I have it on my shelf, whether I have it on my shelf like this, or like this, you can see the title of that particular book. All right. And actually it has two spots, so you could even title your you could even title your um, cover as well. So I'm going to do that too. I usually put one up here. There. Now I know that this cover goes with this bottom. Great. Okay, and then I believe there's an accessory kit that comes with this too. I have this up here. I want to open that up as well. Looks like this is it. Project Life um, Happiness Is Accessory Kit. So let's open this one up. These are just these little extra doodads that you can add to your scrapbooks. I've got some washi tape, some cute little wooden elements, some arrows. So trendy right now. And then just some different, oh, look at that cute little pocket. Oh, a whole bunch of little pockets. Stickers, and then some awesome cork alphabets. Holy cow, I had no idea this had cork alphabets. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. That'll be so cute on your scrapbook pages. Oh, goody, this is fun. Okay, so let's put these in with the set, too. So I usually throw the accessories in here in the 4x6 area or wherever they fit. These cute little pocket cards are 3x4, so they'll go right here. And then I've also, um, I'll drop in the stickers right here, too. Maybe behind. There we go. And then I still, I think I still have room for my washi. Well, maybe I'll move some of these back take some of these and throw them back here. There. Now I have room for my washi. And then I can put my um, little embellishments in here. Because I like to keep it all together. And then I know I need pens, so Stampin' Up! has some Project Life black pens, a bold tip and a fine tip that I can also put right in here like so and close it up and my project life is ready to go and I'm ready to hit the road. Thank you for stopping in today and checking out Project Life with me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.